Laura here, nice of you to join me and a very warm welcome to my channel. It's lovely to have you here with me today. I really hope you're having a really good day wherever you are. Today I'm bringing you a little walkthrough of a memory book swap that we are doing over on my group on Facebook called Memories Papers Art and we're going to be doing this um, book swap every month so if you'd like to join then head over to the group and join and um, become a member of the group and then you can join in. We're going to be doing them every month so every four weeks and we're going to set them to a, uh, a theme so um, this month's theme has been using our 6x6 papers so we've been making the 6x6 album. Also please don't forget to subscribe and like the So on the book, um, as you see the front cover, um, I've just used some, I was going to make my own flowers, but um, I saw I had the, these in my stash. These are, are um, Prima flowers that I've had for years and years and years. So um, I thought I'd add, the, add those to the front along with some metal uh, leaves I've added. And I've got these little, um, bingo cards that say it says beautiful and then story so i've just added them together just to add that little bit um, more uh, personal touch and then i've used a stamp from it's an old indigo blue stamp and um, this one says let your dreams be your wings and your heart be the your guide i just thought that was a really nice little quote just for the the front of my album now the album the papers i've used two sorts so i've used the trees of collins um vintage find papers and i've also used the kaiser craft ones um which are they're called 75 cents um i just love the colors of these this papers they are just really right up my street very vintage greens and 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 a few oranges loads of brown so i just love them I really do love it and i'm so pleased with this album i really am so i haven't done anything on the spine i've left that quite blank well, i've left it not quite blank i've left it blank and then just on the back again just added those the papers and my um, handmade stamp here as well um that i've added and and i say the front uh, the flowers are prima so as we open up to our first page on the front cover i've done the two the front and the back covers exactly the same and um it's just so just for quickness and every page in the book is the same apart from they um they go down in increments of half and an, no, probably about an inch down in size and um, I just wanted it to give you a different variation of the album. Uh, this album is, I've not used construction tape on this album. This album I have backed with um, cardstock. So on our first, on our inside cover, we can open it out. And again, I've used the wax cord um, that I love so much. I've got it on all different colours. I actually prefer it to... Um, you know, like the, the satin ribbon or the thread that you can get because it's more durable and it is, as it's got, it's a bit waxy, it does retain a little bit of its shape, so it's quite good. So I open up the, the flaps at the top and the bottom and one at the side. <coughs> and I've also got um, an acetate um, flap that covers what's inside as well. So you can add some embellishments on there if you wanted to and open it up and I've just put in a little um, envelope that I had some uh, spare in my stash and just added a little um, tag in there and then I've just got loads of little um, different tags that I've added um, in there that just sit in there nicely so then we can close that all back up like so so you can either have this 
that goes over the flap on this side or you can have it that goes underneath like that so again the choice is yours and then i've just added some uh, circle punches just to for my closure so that looks like a little file folder so coming on to our first page now i didn't want to use magnets all the time in this book so i've opted to have magnets on every other page and to keep the parts closed i've just added a, a belly band on there so that also keeps my tags in place in a little pocket here i've also got a pull out photo mat um, that goes in there but then when you open oh when you open the page up that actually doesn't, we've got a flap that flaps open but this flap comes out so you've got a um, little tiny booklet um, as well now one of the pages is smaller and that's how it's meant to be because i've got my spine inside my page i couldn't have my full width down here and i wanted to have the full width of the page so it covered so it was literally an invisible um, sort of flap so that's why one of the pages is smaller so and then the belly band then fits over and then keeps that flap nice and secure now these here um, are my little embellishments here they are from um, indigo blue and they are if I can find them they're these junk and disorderly ephemera set um, and they're the travel set I think um, it doesn't actually say what set they are but yeah they're from indigo blue so um, and they just worked so perfectly with this paper they really did I couldn't have um, I got a better paper to work with these and then I've just added another tag again is our pocket I've added a, a, a die cut flower there and I'm um, just on the top there so that goes in there and then again but this one is with a a magnet and again that pulls out but this page is slightly bigger than the page before so push that back in and then again this has got its own little um, another little uh, photo mat that pulls out of the side let me get that back in and then again we come over to our belly band page again so that comes off and again another little pocket in there which is that that is where that one fits again another um, photo mat again this one is larger than the one before and then I've just got that photo mat in there with that smaller page like so it goes in there and then I've got this photo mat that's um, I've added I had a spare one so what I've done is I've just added it behind our belly band so I'm gonna put that that side like so okay then we come on to the next page and this is the last page in the book and I've added just a um, a little tuck spot here with um, just some little pull out um, ephemera uh, embellishment type card so they go in there and then this pulls out to give you some um, photo opportunity type places to put them and again this pulls out and reveals our biggest our big uh, pull out and then we come on to the back and then the pack again is exactly the same as the front with our flaps open with the acetate cover and then our photo mats inside like so and then our pocket with just the uh, little envelope um, little tag inside the envelope and then that all sits nice and neatly in that little photo wallet type thing and then I've added on this the ends here I've added a little um, cotton tassel as well just to add that little bit different something different to the book 
so close it up and then that's that our book done and it's we've got a lot of space left in there then to put different photographs and memorabilia in um so it's not um sort of gaping open so you've still got plenty of space in there so thanks ever so uh, much for watching please subscribe to my channel and um, like and comment every like and comment really does help my channel grow as well as subscribing as well and if you do subscribe hit that notification button which will be up there somewhere um or you can click down here in this corner here onto my logo if you click on that a little subscribe button will come up so you can just click on that and then that will take you to my um sort of landing page on my channel so you'll be able to subscribe from there so thanks again don't forget if you want to join in with the book swap then you need to become a member of our um facebook group which is memories papers art and that way you can join in all the fun so thanks again for watching and i will see you very soon on the next one bye